from protecting Perth to planning its future. The state government has unveiled its public transport vision for the next 20 years. Rail lines will extend north to Yanchip and south to Mundajong. And a modern version of the tram will run from the northern suburbs into the city. But there's one glaring omission, and that's a rail line to Ellenbrook, an election promise that helped the Liberals win the seat of Swan Hills. To discuss the issue, I was joined by the Transport Minister, Troy Buswell, earlier. Minister, welcome to 7.30. Thank you very much, Eliza. Now, what part of this plan will become a reality? Well, I think uh, a large part of it will become a reality. It's an important blueprint for public transport future of Perth. And I think the important part of the work that supports the plan is to acknowledge that by 2031 there'll be twice as many public transport trips per day. So it's a big challenge. Uh, we need some innovative solutions and that's what this plan delivers. I suppose the question is then when will it become a reality? Well it's going to take some time I and mean, we've committed 11 million dollars of planning money to focus on three projects. A light rail project heading towards Mirabooka, a heavy rail extension to Yanship and a rapid bus transit system to Allenbrook. You know, in relation to light rail, I reckon it'll probably take two years to work through that planning process. You know, engineering works, traffic planning, uh, costings and design. So, you know, it's not... You know, these things aren't cheap uh, and they're complicated. But I want to make sure we do the planning appropriately uh, ahead of when we make uh, government investment decisions. We've got a lot of projects on the go at the moment, this government. Can you afford to do all these things? You know, light rail being the first one. Well, this is a... The, what the plan identifies is that the, the estimated capital cost is $4.1 billion uh, between now and conceivably 2031. Uh, the, the question is, you know, some of those investment decisions will be made by subsequent governments, but I think when we understand the extent of the public transport challenge, uh, it's difficult to argue that you can't justify the investment. You know, if we don't plan and then deliver a 21st century public transport solution. Uh, the cost in terms of congestion uh, and frustration for residents of Perth will be, uh, I think, too high. Now, Minister, um, speaking of the heavy rail, uh, it's not going to be going to Ellenbrook, and your government did campaign in 2008 um, on a promise to do mm. so. Uh, that's a broken promise, isn't it? Well, I mean, the, the question that I like to ask is um, what planning occurred prior to the former government making a commitment to take heavy rail to Ellenbrook. I would have logically assumed, as I'm sure we did in opposition, that they'd done the necessary work to justify a major use of taxpayer money, you know, $700 million to a $1 billion. Now, that didn't happen. It does sound like a little bit of a, a buck-passing exercise. I mean, you, know, you made the commitment. Well, again, uh, I, I deal with the facts that are before me at the moment. Um, you cannot justify on current growth trends and investment of between $700 million and a $1 billion in providing heavy rail to Ellenbrook. I mean, the, the data I've seen suggests that on the totality of that line to Ellenbrook, uh, you'd get the same passenger usage as you currently get uh, through Murdoch Station, and it's just not justified. Now, that's not to say it won't happen in the long term, because that northeastern growth corridor is very important. Mm. Uh, and one of our short-term priorities will be uh, a bus rapid transit infrastructure through to Wellenbrook because you do need to provide public transport solutions but it's, it's just not going to be heavy rail in the short to medium term. Sure but just I mean I know it's a political point but it is quite crucial isn't it because the commitment was made I mean are we to look then at all the election commitments that were made in 2008 and say well they're all they're sort of contingent on well, more information? Well no and I mean most of those election commitments are now, are now happening. Um, I think this is a fairly unique case. I mean I was astounded to find that the former government hadn't done the planning work that you would need to justify a $700 million investment in Ellenbrook. Now, in opposition, uh, we matched their commitment. Uh, I think it'd be fair to say we matched that on an assumption that that planning work had happened. Now, we've done the planning work. Dangerous to assume, maybe well, that's the lesson. Well, a, an important lesson, you know, but now, I think that more broadly, taxpayers look to us to invest their, their funds wisely. We have a limited pool of funds. Uh, yes, we need to provide a better solution to Allenbrook, and we will, but it won't be in the short to medium term heavy rail. OK, so there's just, just to, to go back to this point, though, I mean, ultimately, we're still waiting for um, a commitment in, that was made in the election over Royal Perth Hospital, and, and that's looking like that might not be actually going to be coming through. So you can say this is a one-off, and this is not going to be a trend that well, the government's going to... Well, all the, well all the advice I have is that... Uh, uh, if you get sick here in the ABC studios uh, and you need to get to hospital, you can go to Royal Perth uh, and you'll be able to do that uh, for a long, long time. And Royal Perth Hospital, the commitment we gave is it would stay. 
uh, and it will stay. So I don't think there's been any any step back uh, from a commitment in and around Royal Perth Hospital. Uh, Ellenbrook, I think, is a special case, uh, uh, but I, I think we've been pretty open and, and, and saying to people, we had a serious look at it, uh, the numbers just didn't stack up. OK, just finally, we did invite you on tonight to have a debate with Eric Ripper over this issue because they unveiled their plan earlier this week. Um, are you frightened of debating Eric no, Ripper? No, I'm not, uh, but I, I'll give you a tip. Uh, the plan they put out is ridiculous. I mean, it will never happen. Uh, it would never be affordable and it would be impossible to construct. But a debate's a debate. Well, uh, my view is we've come up with a well-reasoned plan. I'm happy to discuss that with you. Uh, I'm not going to give uh, uh, the plan that they put together, which looked like it was knocked up on uh, the back of a beer coaster uh, late one night. I'm not going to give that any credit by, uh, by participating uh, in that forum. We're happy to debate the issues in the parliament. But uh, I think when people sit down and have a look at the alternate plans, uh, it is chalk and cheese. OK, Minister, thanks for your time. All right, thank you very much.